In a big development, the government has today slapped a six rupee per liter tax on the export of petrol and ATF and a 13 rupees per liter tax on the export of diesel. This move is aimed at curtailing the exports of these crucial fuel, petrol, diesel, and the jet fuel. The tax on fuel exports comes in the wake of the rising exports of high-speed diesel and petrol that have spiked recently. And the move now aims to help boost domestic supplies of oil. According to the finance ministry, the objective to increase the tax is to increase the domestic availability of fuel. However, it will not impact the domestic prices as per the issued statement of finance ministry. Remember, the restriction on export is aimed at shoring up domestic supplies at petrol pumps, some of which have also dried up in states like Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, as private refiners were preferring to export fuel than selling it locally. Remember, exports were preferred by these uh, fuel retailers as the retail petrol and diesel prices uh, by dominant PSU retailers ha have been capped at rates which are way lower than the cost. There has been a freeze on the increase of petrol and diesel prices since they have already gone up very fast and very sharply. Remember that finance ministry has also noted that Indian state-run and private energy companies have been importing crude oil from Russia at discounted prices from the overall international level, which is somewhere around the Brent crude, somewhere around $115, $120 a barrel. But Russia has been, because there were sanctions imposed against Russia because of the war situation by these European countries, the US as well, so uh, Russia, uh, to its friends and its friendly countries, had been saying that we can offer you discounted, uh, you know, uh, fuel, and which is definitely in uh, the favor of countries which actually import most of their oil requirements, just like India. Now, remember, the tax on exports also follows the oil refiners, particularly the private sector, reaping these huge gains from exporting of fuel. U.S. and European Union refiners said are said to have processed the Russian crude oil available at a discount after it was shunned by the West and exported fuel produced from it to Europe and the U.S. Now, these new taxes will actually go on to dent the earnings of refiners like Reliance Industries. And that is perhaps one reason because of which we actually saw a carnage on the D Street as far as the oil and gas stocks are concerned. The shares of Reliance Industries were down 7 odd percent, MRPL, Vedanta, ONGC, Oil India, all slipping sharply even into double digits of 12, 14 percent odd after this news has come in. Apart from this, in a separate government notification, the government has also slapped a 23,230 rupees per tonne additional tax. And this will be on the domestically produced crude oil. This is to take away any windfall gains accruing to producers from the high international oil prices. Now, the tax on domestically produced crude oil also follows local producers reaping these windfall gains from the surge in international prices. The levy on crude, which follows record earnings by state-owned oil and natural gas uh, corporation or ONGC and Oil India and the private sector Vedanta alone, will actually fetch the government uh, anywhere between 67,425 crore rupees annually on the 29 million tons of crude oil produced domestically. This is as per what the experts and the reports have suggested. Remember that domestic oil companies have also been told now by the government that at least 50% of their shipping bills in a given financial year have to be reserved for the domestic market. However, refiners who produce lesser than 2 million barrels uh, have been exempted from the duties. Also, the government will not levy the new taxes on domestic production higher than the last year in order to not incentivize producers to boost local supply. Now, this means that the private retailers who control less than 10% of the market share either sell fuel at a loss or lose market share if they were to sell at higher cost. So all of this is extremely important by the way of how it has been implemented. Uh, huge negative for the oil exploration upstream companies um, and uh, therefore you are also seeing the domestic crude oil exporters and the producers it's a negative for them 
and the government has also mandated exporters now to meet the requirements of the domestic market first and only then think of export. So these are two big, big developments that have come in. The move aims to uh, first curtail the exports of diesel, petrol and jet fuel and boost the domestic supply. And on the other hand, prevent the, you know, curtail the windfall gains. And because of those windfall gains, the government will also uh, reap in the benefit of those windfall gains gains anywhere to the tune of that 67,000 odd crore rupees annually we are talking about as has been reported in several news today. So that's as far as the news talks continues going forward into the next week or is there any other change that comes over the weekend as well. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.